Yes, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Past Times. My name is Nick, as many as you all know, and today we're going to be playing Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Now, we're almost done with the Viridian Forest here, as you can see, we're battling this giant douchebag who always killed me, as I said in the past video, when I was about nine years old. So I decided to go back and go through the Viridian Forest, and then you get this guy, and he's got. I, at the time, he was very hard because, I mean, if you look at the Weedle, it's like a OP level 9 Weedle, and it's like, oh, that, that kind of sucks. So, I'm just going to destroy him with my Squirtle, and we shall get past him, hoping to actually defeat Brock in this episode, which would be really, really awesome. Hope you guys had all a, had all a great election day yesterday. I hope that no matter what happened, you had fun, you went out there and voted. Oh, that good jazz. And now I have been poisoned, which is not good. So, I need to step up my game here. Destroy this Weedle. And get on to go heal myself, because if I don't, I will soon have a dead Squirtle on my hands, which is what I definitely do not want. <sighs> okay, come on, Squirtle. Come on, Squirtle. Oh, oh, so close. That's that's not cool, because I don't have... He only has, like, maybe one, two HP left, then. This is going to limit me, because every time I take a couple steps, it's going to be like, Oh, nope, you got damage from poison, so... Better get on that soon. Alright, there we go. Blood catcher, you have been defeated. Ha-ha! Success. That's right. Alright. Alright. It's three. Four. Okay, so ten HP. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13. Oh, oh no, right, right, that's <laughs> what I get to the counter. Oh man, look, I was actually thinking about making this a Nuzlocke run and doing um, And then we're going to die, it's like I didn't actually use it ever again. I'd have to stick it in the HP, or in the, on the HP, the PC, and never be able to use it again. So the fact that that didn't happen is very great in itself. I'm very happy for that. Oh, I don't want, I don't, I, I can't get myself up past max HP. Pokemon, come on. Let's get on this, okay? Okay. Alright, so let's go here. Let's, Brock's a Brock, uh, Brock's, Rock's a Brock. Brock is a rock type Pokemon gym leader, so she's just going here and easily wipe the floor with his team. Except, we're going to skip this trainer, but I like the extra experience. So that means that we can just easily take down this Diglett, even though we are only a couple levels, I think, behind. Oh, no, we're actually ahead. I thought for some reason Squirtle is level 9 and not level 12. No, so this makes it a lot easier, because we'll use Scratch, you won't do that much. You have C5, 5 isn't that much. And then we shall defeat him as soon as I can use Bubble here in a second. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it, that's going to be a 2 turn kill, but I will definitely get this. Unless something happens, yep. That's what I thought. That was easy. That was too easy. Alright, and Caterpie is level 7, so I do believe we have a Metapod on our hands now, too. Oh, except we also get to battle this Sentru. Come on, Sentru. Alright, Bubble, come on. Alright, there we go. I have enough speed that I actually outmatch this Sentru. It's awesome. Oh, Despite the critical hit, we are also going this is also going to be a two turn sort of thing. Unless, of course. Oh, nope, I thought Sentac might actually inhibit me from getting the hit this turn, but no. We've been successful. And now we have a level 13 Squirtle, so he's very, very close to becoming a war turtle, which is very awesome because I'm trying to get Blastoise ASAP, even though I can. Oh, see? Well, look what I told you guys. Metapod! Dun, 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 dun. Ah, the vault the evolution sequence is a lot shorter than it is in later Pokemon games. Okay, we're actually gonna go back and out and heal, even though that's pretty boring. We're still gonna go do it just because I want to make sure that I can wet the floor block Brock's rock team as easily as possible. Now I still did not get that Pikachu. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back and get that Pikachu. I can beat Misty's team pretty easily with uh with War Turtle, just using Bite, I believe it is, so I might... 
I definitely didn't think about that one, just because I, I totally could, but Pikachu is a rare to find in the Verdian Forest. It's totally possible, and Raichu is a great electric Pokemon. But, that being said, I'm not sure if I want to go do that and bore you guys to death with me. Unless you're trying to catch Pokemon and it ends up just being Bug Pokemon, which is not going to go over well with me. Um, so yeah, let's let's go beat Brock. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. Alright, I like how Brock has hair. Oh, well, uh, he does have hair, but still. Looks like he's like Bali. He's wearing like a black skull cap or something like that. Ah, do you still want to challenge me? Yes, of course I do. I will. I will destroy you, Brock. Here we go. Brock, you don't have a shirt on. Unless it's kind of like a like a light gray shirt and he's wearing that. And Judy always looks like he has like a old lady's haircut. I mean, look at that. He's got like little like balls on the top of his head. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, I don't, I don't want to fight with Metaphor. What the heck's going on? All right, Squirtle. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's destroy the Judy. Oh, defense curl. So that's actually gonna raise his defense. But luckily, Bubble is a special attack, so the only stat that modifies that is special defense. That's why I just one hit to KO'd Geodude. Haha! Alright, so now we're going to beat his Onyx, which is only. It's level 14, but still, even though it's only one level above, we, will, we shall still destroy the Onyx. Wait for it. It's probably gonna be a 2. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh! But Brock doesn't do the thing, and that nets us our first badge! Congratulations, we have now gained the Boulder Badge. Okay, see, is, is Brock wearing a shirt, or is that the shadow? I'm, I'm not sure. I always said he wasn't wearing a shirt. So, I'm not sure. But, there we go. The Boulder Badge is now ours! Hurrah! Hurrah! So, yes, that is our quest to get all eight badges. And defeat the Elite Four. Oh, but we also get a TM. TM34, and that gives us... Oh, apparently nothing right now. Oh, nope. Uh, come on, tell me what it does. Tell me what it does. Come on, come on, come on. I don't care. I don't. Contains. Oh, Pokemon was or damage. I think it's Bide. Yes, it's Bide. All right. So now, as we can see, stupid beard beat him before us. But now I also did as well. So, ha. All right. Now I'm not. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else we can do in this town. As eventually... Okay, there you go. For some reason, the frame rate just drops here. I have a lag spike. The sound gets all weird. Alright, but now we can actually head down this way. We can head towards Rock Tunnel. Home of many, many Zubats. Handle them. But first... We have to beat many, many trainers. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Bugcatcher. Unnamed Bugcatcher. You... I believe he also has an Ekans, which I don't know how he got. Since you can't get Ekans this early in-game. Alright, Squirtle, I choose you. Tackle attack! Oh no! He's gonna get me. No, he's not gonna get me. So I'm going to bubble the crap out of him, and he's going to. Oh! Slightly be hurt. Luckily, though, I'm definitely going to win this. And then we're going to be well on our way. And I hope he doesn't have an Ekans, because remember, because his, his stupid Ekans would always use rap. And that's not good for me because rap it just takes a lot out of me. Oh, uh, and Weedle, okay, so. So far, no sign of an Ekans. Weedle's pretty easy though, so I'm just going to quickly get him down. Oh, there we go, critical hit. So this might actually be a two hit KO. Let's hope, let's hope the string shot isn't. He speed fell, so. Okay, good. So we're still ahead. We're still ahead of this dumb Weedle. Oh, oh! You gotta be joking. You got to be joking. That, that is one HP right there. That is not fair. Not fair. I shall have you, game. Alright, there we go. 111, and... Can't be okay, good. So this is not the person who has the Ekans. Which is good for me. Oh, okay, I don't know. I think I might have just used Tail Whip right there. Oh, no, Tackle. Oh, well. We we'll use that as a little bit of a... A little bit of damage, even though I probably should have been smarter to use Bubble, just because I got the type bonus as well as it's just a better attack than Bubble. But oh well, looks like we're going to beat him here on this turn without taking a little slight bit of damage there. And boom, there we go. We have defeated us another bug catcher. 
There's entirely too many blood catchers in this game. They're all unnamed, so it's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know. There we go. Water gun. Thank you, God. Now we have water gun. And if I remember right, water gun is actually a lot better. Look, look how cute Squirtle looks. Oh, we can actually tell the power of the attacks. So let's go try it out on this guy. He's missing like a whole chunk of his hair. Hey, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Yes, they are. Good, sir. You know what's up in the fashion world. Oh, let's get my mouse out of the way there. <laughs> we don't need that in the middle of the screen, do we? Uh, amateur recording is amateur. Alright, so I just want to point out, look at Metapod's eye. It looks very odd. I'm not sure what's going on there. You might need contacts. You might need to go get that checked out, but that's just kind of weird. From a guy who only uses Harden, though. Not sure. Alright. So my defense fell, but this should... I should destroy his Rattata here soon enough. If this works out just like I want it to, okay good. So, it, I mean, it's not good. I wish it was one hit KO, but it's going to be a two hit KO. But I'm losing out on... What is it? I'm losing out on the fence, which is not good because this is definitely the guy who has... I can see... I can see... And, well, unlucky for me, Rap is a physical type move, so that will heavily hurt my defense. Alright, oh, Rap, there we go. See, oh, attack continues, so I'm not actually able to attack. It's not good. And he keeps using it. So, uh, all I can do is just smash A and hopefully, yes, okay, so I broke through, but I'm definitely going <laughs> to need to heal after this. As you can see, this is why I definitely hate rap. Oh, the music's okay. The music's okay. I'm not, I'm not talking about music. I'm talking about I'm talking about the move. Well, you're like, no darling. It's like, yeah, well, you know, I just I felt like explaining it a little bit more, so take it as you will. Let's go. I, I kind of don't like this just because I, I like a, I like yellow, where you go into the towns and they all actually look different. I kind of wish I did a lot on that, but ah, uh, doing the first boss would be just a little hard. Um. Oh, uh, real heal. Okay. That's what I'm saying, though. It's I like it because you go into the town, and then Peter City is like a darkish gray, and then you go to Cerulean City, and it's blue. So it's kind of cool just because you get the actual... You get kind of a better feel, and this game, it's actually, these games were made for the original Game Boy, which did not have any color capabilities, so it was only in black and white, and I hate myself for keep pressing A. Let's see you again. Yes, shut up. So yeah, all these games are in some sort of gray scale. Everything's like different shade of white and black and gray and all that good stuff. Uh, lag spike. Oh, I gotta push that. Yes, aha. I beat, I bested, oh, no, 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 he's come back. He's come back to wreak havoc up on my game. Okay, so this is, this part was always difficult because right here, you have that train right there, and if you go up, you have to actually go back and go inside, but we're actually gonna go ahead south, so we're gonna have to beat this guy. Of course I'm a trainer. No, I'm actually I'm a professional poker player, and I just I've decided to walk across the land and play poker with all the gym leaders. No, you are an idiot. Sent out Weedle. Ooh, a level nine Weedle. I wonder, I wonder if I could try this with my Weedle. I mean, not my Weedle, my Metapod. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, Metapod's poisoned. Metapod's poisoned, and that barely did anything. So we are actually not going to try this with Metapod. Sorry, little buddy. We're actually gonna go to Squirtle. I'm probably not gonna heal up Metapod though until we get to the Pokemon Center. That's at Rock Tunnel, so we're just gonna wait until we get there to in order to heal, because I could probably destroy every single trainer with my level 15 Squirtle, which will actually probably be a war turtle by the time we get to Rock Tunnel, so that's actually cool. In one episode, wow, we accomplished so much. We get to the Boulder Badge, as well as our war turtle. I don't know what you guys, but I'm super excited. I'm super duper excited. Alright, so Kakuna, nothing too hard. He's level 9. Excuse the water gun, and. Oh, so close, so close. You can use hard now you want to. I'm still gonna destroy you. And there we go, Kakuna has now been destroyed. I keep using destroy, that's kind of a terrible move. I just I faint all the Pokemon, not destroy them. I gotta think of a better move like Cream, you know. Cream, clobber, smash, destroy. There you go. <laughs> Those are the. This is the worst I know about how to take out a Pokemon team. Very cool, huh? Oh yeah. Alright. There we go, level 16. So I think after... It's level 16 or is it level 18? I'm pretty sure it's level 16. 
We shall see after this battle if we actually get a metapod out of this. That, oh, not a metapod. Uh, I said that just because it's not a metapod. I always get confused like that. No, a war turtle out of this fight. That would be awesome. I would be very, very excited. And yes, yeah, so let's see here what we get. It's like Christmas freaking morning. Do we get our war turtle? Let's see. Uh, 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 we do. We do. War turtle time. We've only had Squirtle for about three episodes, but now we're slowly moving up. And war turtle. He looks like a teenage mutant ninja turtle just by the face, because it's a little bit more rounded. That's funny. That's funny. I never noticed that. Okay, let's. Oh yeah, that. I'm not sure if I have any. Oh, I do have an answer. You know what? You don't buy Metapod. You. I'll. I'll, I'll use that on you. All right, here we go. I think this is actually the last trainer we're gonna end up beating this episode, unless I actually manage to. I got the person with a couple jelly puffs, I believe. Let's hope so, because I'm kind of getting fired trying to train, fight, uh, fighting trainers. Gosh, I can't even talk today. So let's just hope that this is the last one. Come on, War Turtle, get out there! Get out there! So we're actually gonna have War Turtle for uh, quite a bit, just because that from now it's about 20 levels until I can get Blastoise. I don't think I get Blastoise until around maybe 4th or 5th gym badge. Maybe 6th, I'm not even sure. It takes a while, I know that. So, everyone get comfortable to War Turtle, the newest member of our team here. There will definitely be more additions. I'm hoping to get... I, as I said at the start, I'm hoping to get more well-rounded team, but right now that is not looking like it's going to happen, just because, one, I did not get my Pikachu, and we're in Forest, I'm not going back. If I hate Vereening Forest with that burning passion, just because it's terrible layout. So we are going to defeat this Metapod here sooner or later. Come on, come on. There we go. Hacha! Um, off the top of my head, I know there's Fear on this route, and then there's Jigglypuff as well. But Fear is kind of terrible just because it's part normal type, so I'm actually going to skip all the grass. Uh, no, I don't want to fight you. That's how I see. Ha! Didn't even notice I was there, huh? 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 Sucker. Let's keep going. Let's keep going along this route. Little flowers. I feel they kind of like dance, you know? They're kind of like bell sprouts. They're kind of like. Uh, 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 I can. Oh, they're coming out of flowers. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, uh. Alright, so it looks like we actually are going to get in a couple of battles here. Ooh, a Pidgey. I actually like Pidgeotto, so I'm going to attempt to catch this Pidgey here. Which would be very, very awesome. Um, he would be very, a very good addition for beating Erica. So, no, I don't, I don't want to switch Metapod to Metapod, that makes no sense. So we're actually going to try to catch this Pidgey here, as I keep saying before. Because that's all I can say right now, is I really want to catch this Pidgey. So I'm a, I'm a pretty, even though, even though Pidgey, that's not the best flying type Pokemon in the game, I still, oh, that was close. So that would be a pretty much guaranteed capture here. Thank you, it's Pokeball. So yeah, we're, I'm hoping that we are going to be able to use Pidgey, not only for this fight, but one of the Elite Four. He is Fighting Type Bruno. He's Fighting Type, and ground uh, and uh, oh, but that is actually I just realized that he's also Normal Type. So that's not gonna be very good. Fighting Type is weak against Normal, and Firo looks like a gross witch. So we're not going to catch Firo. We are merely going to run away because we don't want you. We're going to get the Pokemon. I can't escape. Say what? I am a higher level Pokemon. Oh. Oh, okay, so now, now I'm going to switch to War Turtle. Just so that way I can either A, switch, or B, just destroy the Spear because you are a giant dickwad. Oh, there we go, we got away safely. Okay, so now, no more no Pokemon Battle. Sorry if you guys are looking for more Pokemon Battles, but I am very much done with Pokemon Battles. For this episode, so we're going to heal up and we're going to save right outside of the rock tunnel and we are going to find some Zubats here in the next episode. I hope you guys are all excited for that. I am certainly as well not. Just because you can't even take two steps without finding a freaking Zubat and it's like, oh my god, Zubats, get out of here. Oh no, no. I keep pressing that. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so we are going to get over here. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please 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 leave some feedback in the comments below. Also, if you would, please, please subscribe. Matt and I are very excited about this YouTube channel, as you all know, and we are very... Um, subscriptions, likes, everything like that are pretty much motivation for us to keep making videos. So if you enjoy these, please, please, please leave us some 
good feedback. I'm always a great feedback taker, so if you have an idea for this episode, if you want me to... You know what? Names. Names. I do like to name my Pokemon, so if you have some awesome names for Pokemon, I will definitely name the next Pokemon I catch in order to the comments I get them. So, if you want me to name Pokemon after something, go leave in the comments below. So, yeah, please, just leave, leave lots of feedback, constructive feedback. I love to make these as high quality as possible and make, let a lot of people enjoy them. So, as always, guys, stay tuned for the next episode, and goodbye.